Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So anyhow, I made an outfit video. Of course I have. Whenever new fur comes out, I think I might just start doing that every time. So as you guys know, I will make a male look and a female look. And I'll make a few different looks because why not? <laughs> so mostly the edgy items have come out so this first look is based on that. I've piled on a lot of different edgy looking items. You don't have to put them all on. I'm just showing you all the different potentials that you can actually do. You can combine, if you use the bandana, the new bandana that's come out as, a, as an eye item, you can use this head bandana and it looks like a connectivity, like there's no gap between them so it looks like an awesome put together set of items. And this is a very overcrowded look, so I just did it to show you all the different potentials. You can also use a spiked neck collar thing as well. So there, there are many different ways to make this whole thing edgy, but these are your typical items that's going to help with that look on this skull beast fur. By the ways, would you guys prefer that I talk throughout the video like this and talk to you about each of the outfits as I'm making it and my thought process or just like telling you some tips or just the way I make my outfits or would you just rather I just keep music and just let it play out without me talking during the video? Let me know in the comments below which version you prefer. And you could change up the hair, a lot of these other hairs will work too. I'm just using these other hairs to show you how you can match it up to the color of your fur or you could have a different variation that go that complements the fur well, pretty much. The next up, the look that we have, I kind of went with a Robin Hood vibe, so you have that hat along with the bow and arrow. And then I used a muted down green which kind of complements it. All these looks will be in a darker or muted down tones because of the fur that I'm using, such as really bright or neon looks might not look very good on this fur. And typically I've been finding it easier to make male looks with this fur personally speaking, so I'm challenging myself to make female looks on this more. But as you can see, this whole combination just came together like a Robin Hood kind of look. Couldn't decide between the two eyes, or to have any eyes or not, but I think it's a bit too bright for this look. And then I already know the hair that I want to use, but I'm still trying on a bunch of other hairs in case something else happens to look better than the one I have in mind. But in the end, I do use the hair that I actually had thought of in my mind as I was making it. And I am copy pasting the code so that I can get the HD images later on. So I'm pasting it into Notepad, that's why you see me switching over to that as well. Now for the third look. <laughs> Let us make a feminine look. And so we'll use the hair and the crown. I don't think I've used this crown in a while. 
And just to make it match the vibes of the fur, I'm using the pirate mouth bandana to match it. I can't figure out quite how bright or dark I want the color, so it took me a little while to mess around with those reds to kind of make it maroonish or not too red. But let's see how we can get it. Mm -hmm. For the fourth look, I believe, another feminine look. I used this hair and I used a purple, darker purple shared shade to complement the whole color scheme that's going on here. So yeah, that's a simple look. And then for the fifth look, I guess, I'm losing track already. So this one, I went with another rocker kind of vibe with those space buns. It looks super, super cute. And also in between, I just had to look down at, I was, in, I was making these outfits in the tribe. So while I was in the tribe, um, a couple other people in the tribe, a couple of her friends have been like talking about it and I, I just found it really funny and I decided to share it. So everyone's actually just like making outfits right now. <laughs> I personally feel that I'm kind of responsible for getting everyone to get more interested in making outfits, I feel. So everyone's been making a lot more outfits lately, which is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna take that credit. I don't know whether it's due or not, but I'll take it anyhow. <laughs> so anyways, let's finish off with this outfit. So I decided to use that ear item because I don't know, it looks nice. But overall, those glass. In this case, I use the bandana as a head item because they have it in both categories. So personally, the only time I think it could look cute is if you have like these kind of glasses, and then you have that bandana on top as well. So overall, a very cute look. I love this look as well. And then let's go for the sixth look, I guess. Yeah, so for the sixth look, I have decided to go for, I don't know, I'm like experimenting and seeing what else I can use the eye version for because I prefer using it as an eye version because there are a lot more head items anyhow that can be added on. So I decided to go for, I decided to use the afro because it actually looks pretty good with this bandana and just you could give it a very retro disco time 80s vibe I think. So if you just look at this and change the colors around a bit, I'm trying to make a disco ball tail, but I really wish that yellow wasn't there. So I kind of photoshopped it and made it not there anymore, <laughs> but you don't have an option to customize that tail. But then anyways, Cam helped me out with that tail as well. So we changed the color schemes, as you can see, it's more blue tone now. So then she helped me out with the tail, so thanks for that. And now we're making ourselves a disco kind of vibe. <laughs> so there's your disco look. You could come up with an ascot, you could use like a spike wristband if you want. You can go for it, just have fun. <laughs>
and then finally for the seventh and final look that I decided to make in this video I decided to use that hair that hair looks amazing on this fur honestly that combination looks really good and then if you use it as an eye item because the hair itself is a head item in this case so honestly I think it looks pretty good and I decided to use the earrings to match it up with the headband both of them are skulls so there's like a nice matching vibe to it and then I decided to give it like you know the vibes right where you have like the headphones around your neck and all it works out and star eyes actually can work well with punk looks and a lot of the vibes that this fur gives off especially when you combine it with some of the collector items that have come out in this round that pretty much sums up all these looks <laughs> and i've had some friends who have made some looks as well so i'm putting those right here now and if you guys also want to be in a video anytime a new fur gets released you can use dressing or a dress room app and send me the code like you could send it to me on my latest video or you could send it to me on my discord or yeah <laughs> i don't really check email so avoid that <laughs> So here are some of the people who made looks. But yeah, you can send me your codes on the day that the fur gets released. So when I do make the videos, I can put your code, <laughs> I can put your outfits in my outfit videos as well. And you guys can let me know if you want credit for it or if you want me to leave you anonymous. That works too. But anyways, hope you guys had fun. Bye. Kaden Shalal. As always, peace.